Let's talk some more partial quotients and partial products. Today, let's use our favorite dun, 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 ratio tables. We're not gonna use an array or area model today. However, these are both still great strategies. So let's just focus on these ratio tables and follow my lead. Let's just get right into it this morning. Go ahead and put a heading on your paper, partial products and partial quotients, and record this problem, 280 divided by 14. I'd also like for you to start your ratio table. What I'm gonna do as you're writing is I'm just gonna explain one thing. When you're doing a ratio table, there is not one set way to complete it or one correct way to complete it. You can work forwards, you can work backwards. Just know that your first number should always be a unit and then what you're going to be multiplying by. Hopefully by now you have this recorded down. If not, you should pause the video. Okay, so I'm working with one and 14. And although I'm dividing, this ratio table is gonna help me figure out what I can multiply by 14 to get me to 280. So the first thing I'm thinking is this. Friendly number 10. If I multiply one by 10 and 14 by 10, I have 140. Then if I double 10 and double 140, or multiply both of those by two, I end up with 280. That's what I'm looking for. Although I have my answer, 280 divided by 14 is, you've got it, 280 divided by 14 is 20. But there's one more way I wanna show you. Because like I said, there's not just one way to solve, so let's look at the problem from a different way. Go ahead and record this version of the ratio table in your math journals. I know that 14 times two is 28, and 10 times greater than 28 is 280. Look at that. This is also another way you can solve. Is it the same answer? Yes. Did we take a different path to get there? Yes. Does it matter which way you take? No, as long as we get the answer. 280 divided by 14 is 20, which is the same thing as 20 times 14, which equals 280. See, remember, division and multiplication are related, which is exactly why we can still use an area model or an array and even a ratio table to help us solve these problems. We've learned all these amazing different strategies that have helped us so much throughout the units. So why not continue to use the same ones, but just in a different way? Go ahead and try this problem, 308 divided by 14. I'd like you to pause the video and set up a ratio table to try to solve this one on your own without my guidance. Now would be a great time to pause the video. Your ratio table should look a little something like this. If you haven't already solved, let's think about what we can do. We already know that we can get 14 to 280, and 280 is really close to 308, so I'm thinking, let's use what we already know. Ultimately, with partial quotients, we just wanna get as close as we can to the dividend in order to get to our quotient. So we're using partial quotients in order to get there, and a ratio table is an excellent way to document this. Since I already know that 20 times 14 is 280, I need to figure out how far away I am from 308. I know that 280 plus 20 is 300, and plus eight would be 308. So that's 28, and I know 14 times two is 28, because I already did that. So my work here demonstrates that 280 plus 28 is gonna get me to my 308. Think you're ready to try one more? Before we do, make sure you record the following expressions underneath your problem or with your ratio table. 308 divided by 14 is 22, and 22 times 14 is 308. Remember, I cannot stress enough, multiplication and division, they're directly related. 
Let's try this one, 252 divided by 14. While you're waiting, or getting ready, mark this down in your math journal and make your ratio table. Now would be a great time to pause and solve this problem. Do yourself a favor and don't allow the video to continue forward until you finish the problem. Okay, does your work look a little bit like this? Maybe not, because this is a different way of looking at a ratio table. It's kind of like the over strategy. Notice how I knew that 20 times 14 was 280. I documented that right here, see? But I need to get to 252. So I looked at 280 and I thought, hmm, what can I take away from 280 to get me 252 or something close? And as you see below, I subtracted 280 from 28. It doesn't matter if you do this in the same order. The point is, is this is my documentation of work. So if I've subtracted 280 from 28, I also need to subtract 20 minus 2, which is 18. And that brings me to my results. 14 times 18 is 252, or 252 divided by 14 is 18. I told you this would be easy, or maybe I didn't tell you, but it is, isn't it? This is one way to document your work. But this way, I would prefer. Make sure you list your multiplication expression and your division expression to show how they're directly related. Are you ready to try one on your own? Remember, problem strings progressively get more difficult, but I'm confident that you can solve this next one without any of my help. Record this in your math journal and solve.